haven't started an ATM business yet because you're not technologically savvy or mechanically inclined and think you can't repair them, watch this video. I'm gonna make you a MacGyver. Hey there, my name is Carrie Buck. I've been an independent ATM business owner since 2009 and I've been an ATM business mentor since 2011. That's where I teach people just like you how to start and grow your own profitable ATM business that will provide you with consistent monthly passive income and big chunks of cash in small time frames. Now, why would you want consistent passive income and big chunks of cash in small time frames? Well, it's going to be different for each person. Some folks want to get out of their nine to five jobs, right? And they want to finally put their money to work for them instead of always working for their money. Uh, there's some folks that want to supplement their retirement or this might be their retirement. There are folks that want to uh, stop putting out hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in investments to make a decent ROI and want to put out less money to make a decent ROI. And there are folks that want to uh, create a legacy, uh, generational wealth for their kids, grandkids, and so on, right? And there are people that have reasons that I didn't even mention because I don't know what they are because they're personal to them, right? You might have a different reason or it might be a combination. So that's why you want consistent passive income and big chunks of cash in small time frames. Now, if you want to start an ATM business and you'd like me to help you, I'm going to save you money, headaches, and most importantly, your time. What you want to do is you want to go to atmtrainingvideo.com. Better yet, just click the link in the description below, enter your uh, name, uh, enter your email, watch the training video, and then book a call with my team. All right. Now, before we get into this video, do me a quick favor. Hit that uh, ATM right there in this corner, or maybe it's right there in this corner. I don't know which corner it's in, but hit that little ATM. Subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell notification. Select always. So every time I post a video, you're first to know about it. And give me some thumbs ups. I know you're like, well, I don't know if I like this video yet, Carrie. Just do it. Give, come on, do me a favor. Just give me some thumbs ups. And then when you go through the video and you realize you do like the video, give me some thumbs up for real, for real. All right. All right. So you're like, you know what? I, I, I can't start an ATM business. I don't want to start an ATM business because I can't fix shit. I'm not mechanically inclined. I'm not technologically savvy. I don't know how to fix anything, Carrie. So why would I start an ATM business? Because these ATMs are machines and at some point they're going to break down and I'm going to have to fix it and I'm going to be screwed because I don't know how to do that stuff. Well, I'm going to help you right now on this video. You remember back in the day, MacGyver, right? I know some of us, if you're, if you're younger watching this, you don't know who MacGyver is, but Google him, watch him on YouTube or Hulu or something, right? So MacGyver basically could fix anything with anything. He could solve any problem with anything, right? So if he wanted to uh, build a bomb, you know, he could do that with a stick of gum, a piece of rice, and a, and a hair band. And I'm not talking about hair band like Guns N' Roses or Bon Jovi. I'm talking about a band for your hair. Right? So that's what he could do. He was amazing. He always could fix anything and, and get out of any situation with anything. That's what I'm going to make you. Right? So here's the thing. You don't have to worry about not being technologically savvy, not being mechanically inclined, not knowing how to fix stuff. Because guess what? That's this girl right here. That is me. I don't like to get my hands dirty. Right? And because of that, I don't know how to fix most things in life. Right. Just to give you a scenario of where my head's at when it comes to like repairs and, and building and fixing. Uh, this one time I was in a, a house that my dad had bought and he was uh, rehabbing it to sell it to, you know, flip it. And um, we're standing in the middle of this in this room. Right. You know, obviously the room has walls. Right. It's a big room. And I'm, I'm leaning against one wall and he tells me that. <laughs> he's going to put a wall up and I'm like, what? Like I'm, I'm legit confused. I mean, what do you mean you're going to put a wall up? The walls are up. Like, what are you talking about? You can't put a wall up. He's like, I'm going to put a wall right there. And I'm like, what are you talking about? There is no wall right here. Like the walls are up there around here. And he looks at me. He's like, are you being serious right now? I'm like, yeah, there's no wall. He's like, I'm going to build a wall there. And I'm like, really? No clue. No clue. I have no idea about repairs, about building, about fixing anything. I had no idea that you could literally just now build a wall like somewhere. Like you can build a wall right here if you want to. I had no idea. <laughs> and he just looks at me. He's like, I can't believe you've been a real estate investor all this time. And you have no idea about this. I'm like, eh. 
right? So that's me. Like I'm when I tell you that I am not savvy when it comes to that kind of stuff, I'm not kidding. All right. So that's how I want you to know that you can be in the ATM business, even if you're not technologically savvy, even if you're not mechanically inclined, even if you've never fixed or repaired anything in your life, because guess what? This girl can fix ATMs. Yeah, I can fix ATMs and I can show you how to do it too. So that's number one. Number two is you don't have to fix the ATM if you don't want to, right? You can pay somebody else to fix it for you. Easy peasy, right? You don't even have to worry about touching a machine. If there's a problem, you don't have to worry about it, right? You don't have to be MacGyver. Hands off, okay? You don't have to worry about it. Pay somebody else to fix it. Now, of course, that's money out of your pocket, right? That's time, right? That's it's gonna take more time to get somebody else to come out here and fix it, but you don't have to touch it, all right? But let's start with back to number one where I'll show you how to do it, okay? Here's what happens. When you're a student of mine, Right? If, you, if you ever decide you want to become a student of mine, want me to help you. We have training videos in our membership site. And every issue we've ever had with our ATM, we turn on a video camera and we record us fixing it. So it's either going to be me fixing it or my wife fixing it. Right? But there are videos in this training of every issue that we've ever had with an ATM. And then also different common issues that arise that we might not have actually had happen, but we've you know shot videos to show you how to solve them, right? So if you know how to watch a video, which I know you do, because you're watching this video. So if you know how to watch a video and you know how to follow directions and take advice, which I also know you do, because I'm sure you learn how to drive a car. I'm sure you learn how to, you learn how to use your smartphone, right? I'm sure you learn how to use your uh, remote control to your fancy TV. Okay, maybe you don't know how to use all of the remote control, but you know how to use it sufficiently, right? <laughs> so I know that with these videos, you can watch them, you can learn from them, and boom, you can now repair your ATM, and you're gonna feel like MacGyver. You're gonna feel like MacGyver, because you're gonna know how to do these things. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that it that ease a little fear you might have when it comes to, oh my God, carry out and have to fix a machine, so I'm not starting an ATM business because I don't want you missing out on that consistent monthly passive income and those big chunks of cash in small time frames on, on something that you're thinking about that really is can be solved. It's solved, right? I've already solved it for you, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. All right, so listen, if you would like me to help you start your own ATM business, just click that link in the description, enter your email, uh, watch a little training video, uh, and fill out the application, book a call with my team, and together they'll figure out where it fit to work together, and then I look forward to helping you. All right, this is Carrie Buck signing off. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day, and may you live happily off of passive income. Hey, Carrie Buck here. I hope you enjoyed that last video. If you got any questions or comments or even ideas for future videos, just post that below, okay? And do me a big favor. If you have not done so already, give me some thumbs up, some likes for this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification and select always 